song. Um, you guys gotta be careful with the type of music your kids listen to because a lot of times these kids have their earphones and they're listening to music constantly. Even when they're in the car, when you're in the dinner table, they have music playing and it's feeding their soul, it's feeding their mind. And the world is telling them how to think, it's telling them how to live. So that's part of the reason, one of the reasons why I do music is because I want to be able to glorify God through the music but also do it for the youth so that they don't have to be feeding themselves that. You know, a lot of times we try to tell them, take the headphones off, take the headphones off. But they constantly listen to that. They go to bed with their headphones on. They do their homework with their headphones on. They eat with their headphones on. Like everywhere they go, they always have the headphones on. But you don't know what message is being planted in their hearts. Because at the end, music has a message, right? Just like the same way when a pastor preaches, it has a message, it's a sermon. So a song, every song that they're listening to is a sermon. But what, but we know that it's not the sermon from God. It's, I don't know if you guys really believe it, but the demonic, is it, there's demons and music, and there's, they actually, before sometimes, I have heard uh, a pastor on a, on a video that are saying that they cast spells over this music, and when you listen to it, you may not, not even like the songs, but you start reciting these lyrics. Just for some reason, something's catchy. Like right now, like the song that I was singing, I, I know the beats could be high, but I don't want you guys to be enjoying it because it has a good beat. Like listen to the words that are being said. Because, you know, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So when we speak, we're either gonna lead someone in the wrong direction or we're gonna resurrect them. You know what I mean? So. That's part of the, one of the reasons why I do music is I, I want to be able to have the youth something to grow up. Because, you know, a lot of, when you're young, people think that God is boring. God is not boring. Because when we have the Holy Spirit, you don't worry about anything. You don't care about who's looking at you. You don't, you don't got to worry about that. It's just between you and God. God is not boring. And that's pretty much what I want to do is Christian hip-hop. I don't know why a lot of people don't. A lot, uh, whenever you tell somebody that you're a Christian rapper or whatever, they don't even want to hear it. As soon as you mention the word Christian, they don't want to hear it. But this breakthrough in it, it's not, it's more than just music, it's truth. And that's pretty much what I want to do. So this lesson.